My wife, 28F, is angry that I, M32, bought a car for my mom. When I was growing up I promised my mom that I will buy her a car as soon as possible I get a good job. After marrying my wife for four years, I decided to fulfill my long-term promise to my mom. We have two cars but my wife is still angry that I bought a car for her after just two days after my wife's birthday. Her mother came to visit us since then my wife has been showing rude attitude. Any help? Folded hands. Do you have combined finances with your wife? Did you discuss this before doing it? Is it a single purchase or are you now responsible for making payments on the vehicle? Your wife is your partner so any big purchases should have been talked about with her. Did you use your wife's money? Are you dealing with financial problems now? You've been married for four years. Did you ever discuss this dream? Never make big purchases like that without informing partner and coming to an agreement on that. It's not like you just bought you a mom some nice earrings. A car is a major purchase. Did you buy anything for your wife's birthday? So you made a huge financial purchase without even talking to your wife about it? You are definitely in the wrong here. It's not like you just bought her an air fryer, a car is a huge purchase. Big purchases like that should be discussed beforehand. Guy from dating app pulled a prank on me and I'm not sure where to go from here. I'm not sure if this is the correct subreddit to post but here I go. I, 22F, met a guy, 25, on a paid, not sure if it matters to mention, dating site. We hit it off and talked for about a week when I asked for his number. He gave it to me and I texted him today, not our real names, hey Ken. This is Fern from Match.com. I got a reply back saying, this isn't Ken my name is Leo. I think you got played. I was so embarrassed because this was the first time a guy gave me a fake number. I deleted the text and wanted to forget about it. A few hours after that incident the number messaged me again saying that it was Ken and that he just wanted to play a joke. I haven't messaged back because I don't know what to say or do. I'm kind of annoyed he would do that, I think it's immature to joke like that with someone you just met, but I might just be taking it too seriously. We really hit it off when we talked over match and got along great. I don't know what I should do. Edit. Added guy's age. I was so embarrassed because this was the first time a guy gave me a fake number. That is a completely normal and predictable feeling to have after what happened. If he had thought about this prank at all he would have realized this. So Ken is at best inconsiderate, and at worst doesn't care if you're hurt or embarrassed. Not characteristics I would bother with. The problem with that sort of pranking humor is that it often comes at the other person's expense. It's adversarial in that it feels like they're laughing at you rather than laughing with you. At this early stage if that isn't something that you're into then a relationship probably wouldn't work out anyway and you should cut your losses. That would be an instant block from me. You get to decide if you want to continue spending time with someone who thinks that kind of thing is funny. There's a good chance that he'll do even worse as he gets to know you more. I'd block him everywhere and move on. Block him. Someone who plays a prank on a person they've only corresponded with for a week and have never met clearly has extremely poor judgment. Do not engage. In my opinion we are constantly setting the tone for how we want to be treated. What he did was immature and disrespectful. By letting it slide you are telling him it's okay to treat you that way. Do him a favor, as well as yourself, and drop him. He'll either learn that type of behavior isn't tolerated or most likely move on to being a jerk to someone else. If you do pursue things, know that he'll continue to do this again and again. Simply because you allow it because your standards say, it's okay to be rude to me. That isn't healthy for yourself. Would you allow someone to talk to your mother this way? It's better you find out now than six months down the road. It's not just a joke, it's rude AF. If you do proceed to date him, he'll likely pull more pranks in the future. Consider how you feel about that. Just don't text him back. Don't text back. Guy sounds stupid. I, 24M. Think I caught my girlfriend, 23F, cheating on Sims 4. Throwaway, she uses Reddit. I was minding my business on our shared PC. I'm feeling blindsided and don't really know what to say, so I apologize if I'm unclear here. She's really into The Sims, she is a very casual player when it comes to video games. It's my PC, but I have all of The Sims games because that happens to be her jam and it's the only thing she plays, why not? I also dabble with The Sims every few months or so. She started at a new retail job, so she's in contact with a lot more people than she's used to. It doesn't seem like she's gotten close with many people there, but she keeps bringing up this guy at work. Let's call him G, oh geez hilarious, he said ABC. Or, 
OMG you'll never guess what happened with G today. I never really thought anything of it, I'm just glad she's making friends. Thought I'd spend my day off and maybe build a house or something in The Sims. I go to load my last household and I see G's last name as a save file. I'm curious so I load it up. It's her, me, and G in the house. They kinda look like us. WTF, but okay. I'm pretty sure she installed some weird mods or something because The Sims have junk and this is not that kind of game. Her Sim and G's were naked. I've seen enough at this point to be both weirded out and confused. I'm not sure how to approach this or how to bring it up, but I'm upset at what I've seen here. Is this even considered cheating? We're pretty open as far as communication goes but I'm at a loss here. This is one of those, thought I'd seen it all, moments for me personally. I have no advice to give. I read the title and I thought you were upset because she was cheating and using mods, codes to get ahead in the sim's cold sweat smile. This doesn't mean she's cheating on you. She still had your character in her game too so I get the vibe that she's probably got a crush on G maybe she was playing it out online so she doesn't in reality? Maybe she just plays the sims in a really specific way? Best thing to do is ask. Check if autonomous sex is turned on. WW has a tendency to do that. Stick G in the swimming pool and delete the ladder. I definitely think it's worth talking to her about. Have an open, calm conversation just explaining what you've found and your concerns. It could be nothing, but it's probably something, honestly. I am an avid Sims player, myself, and have been for like 20 years cold sweat smile when I was younger I would always make households with my crushes, etc. It might signal that she's been thinking about G that way but she may not have acted on anything. I think you really just need to talk to her and see what it's about. It seems strange that she'd make you and G is there any way she might be wondering about the possibility of an open relationship or polyamorous relationship, etc. How to spot a fake post. Throw away account because my girlfriend uses Reddit, so I'm going to literally write about a topic that is very specific to her, and there is no way she would ever figure out it's me when she trolls this very popular sub that the entire world is on. What? LMAO. Kill him in The Sims. I fulfilled my culture obligation and my boyfriend is mad at me. Me, 31 female, and my boyfriend, 34 male, have been together for 5 years and live together and share some finances. On Wednesday my auntie passed away. I was very close to her and am still upset about her death. I am Native American and the way we handle deaths and funerals is very different than the standard American funeral. The family is expected to buy groceries and food in honor of the deceased. We honor the life of the deceased for five days and people come to their house for all five days so we are expected to feed the people each day. On Wednesday when I found out she passed away my mom and I went to the store and bought our groceries to honor my auntie. On the way there my mom said she didn't have much money and I said well I am obviously going to buy stuff too. When we got to the store I selected my items to buy and she got hers. When it was time to pay we used the self-checkout which is card only and my mom was paying half cash half card. I said just give me the other half which was $20 later. When I first called my boyfriend about my auntie's passing he was out working and said he will come home and be strong. I told him I was going to my auntie's house but first going to buy stuff to take to honor her. He said okay and buy what I need to and don't worry about anything else than being with my family. I said okay and I will be home later and that was that. I got home later that evening and he asked how much I spent I told him I spent $60 on groceries then found some clothes I wanted which came to $40. I told him my mom didn't have much money so I paid some of her stuff which was $20 but she had enough money to buy us and her and my sister a pizza for dinner. He said that's okay it was for my auntie and that was that. For some background my mom and boyfriend don't have a great relationship. She has sued him and costed him thousands of dollars in lawyer fees. She would borrow money from me and never paid me back so I stopped lending her money given it took me two times of her doing that to stop. Now I am stepping back and don't talk to her hardly at all. I am working on cutting her out completely. Yesterday we were going to go out shopping to help cheer me up and get my mind off my auntie passing away. The day started out great. We watched TV for the first part of the day then went to the mall to start out our shopping trip. When we finished at the mall I got sick so we just ended up going home. He all of a sudden got mad that I paid $20 for my mom's portion. He was mad all night we kind of talked about it then went to sleep. When we woke up this morning everything was fine and we had planned the day. Then he came back from getting breakfast and was mad at me. 
I understand being mad I covered the $20 for my mom especially after her always asking us for money and us not having as much as her and my sister. I told him I was sorry I didn't think about it I was upset my auntie just died all I was thinking about was my cultural obligation and how I will never get to see my auntie again. He said I wasn't sorry cause I didn't think about him that I only thought about myself and making my mom happy. He left to work and is really mad at me saying I am selfish and put him forth and don't care about our relationship. I understand where he is coming from about the $20 but also I was doing what is expected. I told him I will ask my mom for the $20 back but he is still mad. Now he wants me to ask her to take me to the store but honestly I am afraid he will be mad at me for going with her, but we also need groceries. He is making me feel bad for honoring my auntie and covering the $20. I honestly didn't think about anything other than my auntie's death. I am just so upset and can't stop crying. Sorry for such a long post. I needed to vent and get it out and thought this was the best place since I have no one to talk to. Too long did not read. My auntie died I fulfilled my cultural obligation and covered $20 for my mom's share. My boyfriend is mad at me for doing so. Sorry about your loss. This isn't about the $20. It's about how much you boyfriend hates your mom for suing him, costing him thousands, her borrowing and never paying back. He thinks no matter how bad your mom treats him you'll still choose her. This is not about the $20 or your aunt's death. You mom sued him, and cost him dollar thousands. There is a lot of friction between your boyfriend and your mom. Their past is catching up with you now. $20 is a pretty petty thing to be upset about but the fact your mom tried to sue him which cost him thousands. I think he has a right to be a little peeved. I said just give me the other half which was $20 later. Did she pay you back? Or was the pizza supposed to be the payback to you? And when you say. She's always asking us for money and us not having as much as her and my sister. Do you mean she makes more money than you and your partner and still asks for money? TBH given the history and the fact that you say you are trying to cut her out of your life for financial manipulation reasons specifically. I can see how the topic is a little touchy for him, not to mention the whole. Dot she sued him thing. Yeah, obviously you have a unique and emotional situation going on here, but don't let that change the boundaries you're supposedly trying to set with your mom. The title is kinda misleading. For some background my mom and boyfriend don't have a great relationship. She has sued him and costed him thousands of dollars in lawyer fees. Dot. WTF. I think you're burying the lead a tad bit here. I think the boyfriend should leave you in this case. It isn't about the $20 or your culture. It's about your unhealthy boundaries with your mom. Let's be real here. I would leave you to be honest. This is way too much shit to deal with. He should walk and be free of this.